Taiwan and the U.S. held the second annual Economic Prosperity Partnership Dialogue on Tuesday via video conference. The high-level talks lasted five hours, focusing on issues like 5G security and supply chain resilience. Both sides pledged to deepen economic cooperation, especially over semiconductors. This is U.S. Under Secretary of State Jose Fernandez with Taiwan's ambassador to Washington and other officials. They participated in the second U.S.-Taiwan Economic Prosperity Partnership Dialogue, which unfolded via teleconference. Taiwan officials held a press conference after the five-hour meeting. Taiwan and the U.S. discussed ways to strengthen cooperation. It discussed strategies for solving the semiconductor supply bottleneck and ensuring the long-term resilience of supply chains, thereby promoting economic recovery, prosperity and safety. Our two sides hope to cooperate on further enhancing the security and resilience of semiconductors, starting from stimulating development in the semiconductor ecosystem in order to support resilience in semiconductor supply chains. The talks focused on four issues, supply chain resilience, economic coercion, the digital economy and 5G, and science and technology exchanges. According to Taiwan officials, the two sides plan to strengthen cooperation, especially in the semiconductor industry. Another focus of discussion was China's downgrade of ties with Lithuania over Taiwan's new representative office. No country or economy should have to face this kind of external coercion. We support Lithuania's support for Taiwan. We support its decision to support a free and democratic country. The U.S. and the EU have both expressed support for Lithuania's decision. The economics minister also condemned China's decision to issue fines to Taiwanese conglomerate Far Eastern Group. Whenever Taiwanese firms invest in any country, they must follow the local regulations. But there shouldn't be any other interference in areas outside of environmental, occupational and safety regulations. Wang said that no country should be subject to economic coercion. She said that Taiwan and the U.S. would work together to combat violations of international trade rules.